NASA's Ingenuity Mars helicopter became the first aircraft in history to make a powered, controlled flight on another planet. The Ingenuity team at the agency's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California confirmed the flight succeeded after receiving data from the helicopter via NASA's Perseverance Mars rover at 6.46 a.m. Ingenuity is the latest in a long and storied tradition of NASA projects achieving a space exploration goal once thought impossible, said acting NASA Administrator Steve Yurchik. The X-15 was a pathfinder for the space shuttle. Mars Pathfinder and its Sojourner rover did the same for three generations of Mars rovers. We don't know exactly where Ingenuity will lead us, but today's results indicate the sky, at least on Mars, may not be the limit. The solar-powered helicopter first became airborne at 3.30 for a.m., a time the Ingenuity team determined would have optimal energy and flight conditions. Altimeter data indicate Ingenuity climbed to its prescribed maximum altitude of 10 feet and maintained a stable hover for 30 seconds. It then descended, touching back down on the surface of Mars after logging a total of 39.1 seconds of flight. Additional details on the test are expected in upcoming downlinks. Ingenuity's initial flight demonstration was autonomous, piloted by onboard guidance, navigation, and control systems running algorithms developed by the team at JPL because data must be sent to and returned from the red planet over hundreds of millions of miles using orbiting satellites and NASA's deep space network. Ingenuity cannot be flown with a joystick, and its flight was not observable from Earth in real time. NASA Associate Administrator for Science Thomas Zerbican announced the name for the Martian airfield on which the flight took place. Now, 117 years after the Wright brothers succeeded in making the first flight on our planet, NASA's Ingenuity helicopter has succeeded in performing this amazing feat on another world, Zerbican said. While these two iconic moments in aviation history may be separated by time and 173 million miles of space, they now will forever be linked. As an homage to the two innovative bicycle makers from Dayton, this first of many airfields on other worlds will now be known as Wright Brothers Field, in recognition of the ingenuity and innovation that continue to propel exploration. Thank you for watching our video. For more awesome videos, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you.